I am committed to that there is something about which human beings are unaware, the awareness of which would transform life for human beings. I mean, I think I just cleared it right up. It's <laughs> <laughs> great. Eleven years ago, the first S training took place in San Francisco. That experience has now rippled out to 375,000 people living in 103 countries around the world, and that's really what the work of Werner Erhard and Associates and the Center's network begins with. When I took the S training, it was very important to me, not only in transforming my perspective, my life, as an individual. I found it a remarkable technology which had the feature of creating a safe place for 250 people in the same room to discuss their deepest personal concerns. It was a technology in which a shared experience resulted in a new ability to relate to other people. We could go on doing what we were doing. Yeah, you're making shit up. And clearly we could do it forever. She once got a headache and that. See, this notion about coming and going in fads has nothing to do with what we're doing. I know that that was the interpretation during most of the 70s, and you know all the interpretations better than I do. Clearly not what it's about. Never reflected the truth of what we were up to. No, this had nothing to do with what was hot. This man. has a lot to do with what you're became hot. Man who's gonna be like your what? But this was not a, res a response to some demand in the marketplace. This is not what do people want. This is almost like what do people not want. F. Scott Fitzgerald once said that the mark of an intelligent person is to hold two opposing thoughts in their mind simultaneously. And I want to tell you that the mark possibly of an emotionally emotionally seasoned person, I don't believe in maturity because it sounds like it's, you know, ended, but an emotionally seasoned person is to hold two opposite feelings simultaneously. And I've had those two opposite feelings because on the one hand, working with EST and WNA has really brought me to the very end of my paradigm, my way of thinking, and that's really creating dangerously because my way of thinking about organizations has been based not on creation but on redemption. It's been based on fear, coercion, direction, clarity, all those things we read about in textbooks. Well, that isn't going to work, and it isn't working. And I think there's a possibility, by creating dangerously, both to be seized with terror, as I felt at times this morning, and then sadness at both letting go and also facing some unknown things. That's where the sadness comes, but the joy is that anticipation and working with creating dangerously. And I want to be with you during these next months, years ahead. The organization's expression of the context that the world can work for everyone, that individual lives can make a difference in the quality of life for everyone, was first expressed in the EST training. In the United States, one out of every 675 people has taken the training, and worldwide, 60,000 people participate in this program every year. The S training is made available by the Center's network, which has 25 offices throughout the United States and three in Canada. There are centers in London and Munich serving Europe. There is a center in Bombay serving India. And there are centers in Sydney, Australia and Tel Aviv, Israel. I'm 60 years old. I've been involved in unions. I've been involved in the communities all my life. And this is the biggest challenge that I have undertaken because this is beautiful. This is what I wanted to do all my life. Kick asses and get the people, everybody going. The communication workshop is offered in every major metropolitan area in the United States and around the world. Dr. Fernando Flores guides a number of projects in the area of linguistics, including action, a workshop in effective communication. He has worked extensively with international institutions as a theoretician, business consultant, and designer of computer systems and organizations. Dr. Flores is committed to producing breakthroughs in productivity and creativity for individuals and organizations. And push off. 
the six-day course, the Nature of Reality course, and the seminar program Education for Living, in which 40,000 people are now participating. Integral to the work of the Center's network is the participation of 10,000 volunteers who contribute their time to the production of numerous programs, courses, workshops, and research. The Center's network proceeds from the assumption that people are up to the right things in the world. They actually want to make it work for everyone. It's the focal point, the starting point, a catalyst for people to interact with each other and make real their vision of a world that works for everyone. <laughs>